We're going to discuss what happens when you're all done with the scan. So once you've finished the scan, it puts you at this page. But you want to click on Card Index Page. And now it brings you to the results of all the organs and tissues that you scanned. And what's critical is we want to look at this KOD column right here because anything below 1.2 could be a problem, but we really want to zero in on things that are below 0.4 or 0.5 because those are actually the major uh, issues that we need to address. So if you click on that column KOD, it will sort them from low to high. And then you can scroll up to the very beginning of the list. Well, first of all, I have a lot of scans in here, so I want to make sure I'm looking at today's scan. So go over to the date. There's a little drop-down menu. You can see all the scans I've been doing since November. Go all the way to the last date, and that's today's date. And I'm going to click on that one because I want to make sure that the scan results I'm looking at are today's scans. And once again, we'll click the KOD column to sort high to low so we can right away see where our major issues are. You can actually right click this graph which is a, a Excel spreadsheet. You can preview it and right there is a um, result overview of the scan that you just did. This can be saved to look at later or you can do a quick review of it right now here all in one place. Okay, so let's go back to this spreadsheet. So we can see my very first issue is mitochondria. It's in the acute stage. Transition of esophagus to stomach is chronic. So let's, I know that I have uh, intestinal digestive problems. So let's go ahead and look at gastric glands. So you click on what you want to look at, then you go over to the graph, you click on the graph, now you click on right here, and now we can do an examination of what's really going on with this tissue. So over here you see up in the upper left hand corner we have all these subjects that we can um, examine this gastric gland tissue. The first thing I want to look at is pathology, so I click in the box and you notice my major issues are right here in red. They're below 0.4. So now in order to confirm this diagnosis, click on one of the items in the list and you always follow these steps. You go to adjust all and you go to auto model and now it rates them as to what are the most severe and you notice it's cataral gastritis and atrophic gastritis. If you don't know what these um, diagnoses mean, you can click over here on Edelon Description and most of the times it will come up with a definition. In this case it's gastritis, gastritis with excessive secretion of mucus. Now to really confirm that this is a problem of mine, what we do is you go to the Ghetto Test, or in my software it's called V-Test Internal. You click it. Now the device, the software, will scan this condition and see if it's something that's really bothering me. So after that scan that you just saw, you click Analysis Plus to see the result. And this is the result. Gastric glands are being weakened 54% by cataral gastritis. So that's a confirmation that I actually have this issue and this tissue needs treatment. And I could also do uh, supplementary protocols to help resolve that problem. The second thing I want to know is to unclick pathology. Now click microorganisms. What microorganisms might be impacting this tissue? You see two come up. Worms, parasites. They're not in red, but they are below 
1.2, not quite 0.4, but still could be a problem. So once again, we want to confirm, am I really being bothered by this particular parasite? So I do a V test again, a Vegetto test, to confirm or deny the diagnosis. And we look at Analysis Plus after the scan and it says yes it's weakening by 51 percent so I definitely have this particular uh, pathogen that's bothering my gastric tissue so now what I want to do to destroy this pathogen is I have to scan it first so I click on the picture takes me back to the card index page I scan this pathogen mm -hmm. And now from this page, I can destroy the pathogen by clicking on Meta Correction times 5. And the software automatically picks Destructive Therapy. And you notice that the ratings are the dots on the parasite are getting worse. And that's because it's killing the parasite. And that's what you want. You want it to go from twos and threes to fives and sixes. So you should see the dark maroon and the black dots taking over this parasite because it is killing it. And once you're done with that, you click on card index page. It brings you right back to where you were investigating these parasites. So now I can look at the second one and see, is this one also bothering me? So once again, we have a ghetto test to confirm or deny the, the diagnosis. Analysis Plus is the actual result of that scan. Yes, and this one too is weakening me by 52%. So that's a confirmed diagnosis. We go back to this pathogen. We click on the picture of the pathogen. We click on Scan. Once it's scanned, you can immediately start doing destructive therapy. You can do as many as five times five of both protective therapy on organs and tissues or destructive therapy on bacteria, pathogens, fungus, and that sort of thing. Okay, let's go back to where we were. Okay, now I can give metatherapy to this tissue right from this page. Here's a metatherapy button. It, protective therapy is already chosen for me. I want to make sure I'm not destroying the tissue. So protective therapy, click 5, start. It's going to give 5 metatherapies right now. And you can do this 5 times 5. Once you're done with this tissue, you can exit. Exit and go all the way back to the card index page. And you know this is the card index page because here's the client information and it's your very starting page and that's what you want to go back to. So now you can continue to go through and look at all the various tissue and see what the program is suggesting are your problems. For example, let's look at gallbladder. And you click on the graph and it brings you to this page. You see it's telling me which fungus or bacteria I might have that's affecting my gallbladder. And once again, you click it on, adjust all, Auto model is always, you follow those steps always. Then you have a ghetto test to confirm or deny the diagnosis. And you look at analysis plus. 
This rotavirus is weakening my gallbladder by 54%. So I definitely want to, once again, scan this and treat it. And you can do, once you've confirmed that all three of these are a problem, you can click on all three at once, click on the picture of the pathogen. Now all three of these are here, ready to be scanned. So you scan them. It'll scan each one at a time. You have to have a scan of the pathogens in order to do the therapy. So once they're scanned, right from this page, you can once again click Meta Correction. We'll just do one right now. And it will automatically start the destructive therapy on these pathogens all at the same time, which is really convenient because you don't have to load up one at a time. So you can go back and let's see about the gallbladder and pathology. What is the pathology? Dyskinesia of the gallbladder. You do the same steps, adjust all, and then auto model. And we can see that it looks like these two are the major problems. And down here we have the definition, which comes from the Edelon description. If you click on Edelon description, it brings up the definition of what this problem is. Sometimes there is no definition there. You might have to look it up. You might have to Google it. So here again, we're going to do the same steps. We want to know if dyskinesia of gallbladder is truly a problem. We V-test or Vigetto test it. We click on Analysis Plus. And yes, this is definitely my problem. It's weakening my gallbladder by 45%. So this is gallbladder dyskinesia that is weakening me by 45%. So it confirms that this is my, my problem. So we can exit and we can give metatherapy right here like we did before, or we can exit. And from the research page, you can give metatherapy to every single thing on this list by clicking this and how many times you want to do it. And it will do everything on the list at once instead of one issue at a time. You can continue and go through the results of the scan and look at each and individual, every individual result. You can see what the pathology is. And then once again, the ghetto test, analysis plus to confirm or deny the diagnosis. So I hope this helps you with uh, scanning the results, understanding how to test the results. And I'll see you next time.